These tram cars are owned and operated by Gold Belt. Gold Belt is a locally owned native corporation. We've been in operation since 1996. Everything that was brought up during construction was brought up by either sky crane or helicopter, taking a little over a year and a half to construct. Out here on the right hand side of the tram, we're passing over the ruins of the AJ mine processing mill. It's what's left of in the old, it's an old gold mine. Here's a picture of what the mine looked like during its operating times. It was quite large, would have been right out here alongside of us. The AJ mine was in operation from 1916 to 1944. Sorry. It closed down during the beginning of World War II due to a lack of manpower, recovering over $88 million in gold. In today's economy, it would be worth about $4.6 billion. That's nothing. For every one ounce of gold that was extracted, 22 tons of crushed rock came out along with it. So most of Juneau, our roads, the airport, the downtown area took these crushed rocks and laid them out as foundation. <clears throat> now if you look out across the Gastineau Channel, that's the body of water that the cruise ships come in on. They also will depart back out on. The Gastineau Channel is connected to the Pacific Ocean. It does not freeze over in the winter. Right now what you're looking at is just about mid-tide. Our tide differences from high to low are about 22 feet. The water temperature is around 30 degrees. The other side is Douglas Island. Douglas Island is about 17 miles long, five miles wide, and it holds about 10% of Juno's 33,000 people. It is mostly residential on that side. Douglas is connected to Juno by bridge over near the harbor. Behind the community of Douglas, we have Mount Jumbo. It makes for an extreme hiking trail. To the top is about 4,100 feet. We are passing through an Alaskan temperate rainforest. We average about 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. This is a pretty fantastic day here for us, somewhat rare. The trees we have around us, we have Alaska State Tree, which is Sitka Spruce. They're tall and pointy. They range anywhere between 50 and 250 feet tall. Alaska State Bird would be the willow ptarmigan, and our state flower would be the itty bitty forget-me-not. Out at the other end of the channel, you can catch a glimpse of the Juneau International Airport. The gray strip off in the distance, that is our runway. The body of water behind it is Auk Bay. That's where our local ferry system leaves from. We're now approaching Shah Ahit, which is Clingit for Mountain House. Inside the main building on the upper level, we have the Raven Eagle gift shop. They have to offer museum quality pieces of artwork, Northwest Coast art, books, souvenirs, and recreational clothing. They do have things that were made here in Alaska. The lower level is a Timberline Bar and Grill. It's a full-service restaurant and a full-service bar. Today's special is all-you-can-eat Dungeness Crab. Also on that same lower level, we have the Chill Cat Theater. That's where we show our complimentary film. It's called Seeing Daylight. It plays every half an hour, lasts about 18 minutes, and it'll give you a good insight to the Clingit culture. Out back as you exit the main building, we have the Juno Raptor Center. They care for a live...